Hello everyone, myself Deepika Raghavendra and Ms. Amrita of Dr. B.B. Hegde First Grade College, Kundapur are presenting our paper on the topic Post-COVID-19 Challenges on Psychological Well-Being of Mankind. In the recent days, we all were introduced to a new term called Corona or COVID-19 which created a havoc in the lives and minds of everyone. People started finding it difficult to adjust their mental health and psychological stress. In the paper, we are attempting to bring out the eight key factors which influence the psychological well-being of mankind post-COVID-19, which are personality types, media, healthcare systems, gender roles and family relationships, social stratification, occupation and life expectancy, employment opportunities, education and academic setting. The words like quarantine, seal down, lockdown, social distancing negatively influence the minds of extroverts whereas it wouldn't have made much difference for introverts. Media instilled fear and anxiety among the people rather than awakening them. Limited hospitals and treatment kits, symptoms of fever, cold and cough made people more anxious. Lockdown and business closures led to financial stress which in turn led to emotional stress and psychological trauma among the family members. Over to my colleague. Hello everyone, this is Amrita. I would like to continue our presentation by putting forth another four key factors namely social stratification, occupation and life expectancy, employment opportunity and finally education in academic settings. As we all know, the resultant financial hardship by a COVID-19 burdened economy has been affecting the way of living of upper, middle and lower classes. The short-term loss of work and the earnings, including job losses, salary cuts and the leave without pay has been disrupting the organized lifestyle of workers from IT section to daily wages section. In addition, this pandemic obviously poses a serious threat to job aspiration of fresh graduates. Anyhow, it is important to understand that this circumstance with economic stress undoubtedly disturbs the psychological well-being of mankind. On the other hand, the uncertainty and ambiguity over 2020-21 academic session and job uh, postponement and cancellation of examination, essentiality of virtual classroom, not only torments children but their parents as well. To conclude, though the pandemic had not persuaded severe and profound psychological disorders, it is crystal clear that it birthed many mild psychological issues. So, in order to cope up with the COVID-19, the mental health and psychological support stands as the need of the hour. I would like to convey my heartfelt thanks to GFTC family for giving us this wonderful opportunity. Thank you so much. Greetings to all the organizers of uh, Mudlugi College. Uh, first of all, myself, uh, Professor S.S. Kulkarni, PG Department of Commerce, Sri S.R. Kanti College, Mudho. My topic is implications of COVID-19 on financial services with a special reference to bank and insurance sector. The reason I choose this topic is COVID-19 has strumbled whole economy. It made an impact on all over every sector, but it made a huge impact on banking and insurance sector. Okay, so uh, before our uh, CRR is 4%, now it has been reduced to 3% because to get more liquidity in the market. And the same way, repo rate is also the same way. Before it is a 5.15%, now it is a 4%. Impact of COVID-19 on insurance sector. What are the impacts of COVID-19 on insurance sector? First of all, increased mortality rate. Means many people are suffering from the COVID-19. Many people are dying for the COVID-19. So if they are claim, if they are uh, claim for the health insurance, the many huge amount of health insurance has been transferred to the insurer to the insury and many people are dying and they can also get the claim so many people are getting the insurance from the insurance agency this is the first drawback and the second drawback is loss of profit clause or loss on profit clause means 
many companies has suffering the losses to cover the losses many company are uh, enter into the contract with insurance company so if they have a insurance company if they have a contract of loss of clause then they can cover that so these are the two major impact on insurance company but the conclusion i am going to say is in the future days in the forthcoming days uh, impact of covid 19 on banking sector and insurance sector will be very positive because many people are getting insurance health insurance especially so it is a huge benefit for the insurance company and many bank bank people also are also getting certain benefits like uh, loan waiving and they are also getting reducing in the interest rate so these are benefits which you will getting from covid 19 in forthcoming days so this is my gist of the paper stay home stay safe thank you thank you one and all good morning all of you my name is anpurna paschapur studying in bsc fourth sem government first grade college mudalgi today i am going to give my seminar on the topic first covid challenges on higher education covid 19 pandemic is changing the world higher education system this pandemic has brought many activities many noticeable activities in education sector this paper contribute the capacity of the country like india and its and its teaching opportunity to endure the higher education process at colleges and universities in the form of online distance learning methods and challenges faced during this process at rural areas this paper reviews the solutions for providing technical infrastructure for online education to connect the rural students thank you this is prasanna kumar si and professor madhav from government first grade college vittal presenting a paper on the post covid challenges lifestyles of students of higher education in new normal introduction as we all know that higher education institutions are closed due to covid-19 lockdown both the teaching and the learning communities have remained in their houses the students remaining at their houses are experiencing lot of uncertainty as their classes are not at begun and the classes are going on through online mode and they are undergoing actually the students are undergoing lot of transformation in their routine life style and the objective of the study is concerned first of all this study is conducted to investigate on the aspects that altered the routine lifestyle of the students who are currently pursuing their under graduation or post graduation degree program then it also investigates on the strategies adopted by them to overcome this exceptional situation for this study 234 samples were drawn using google online survey comprising of currently pursuing undergraduate post graduate degree students from various colleges mainly from south india a descriptive research de design was considered as per as the demographic details of the participants are concerned the respondents are mainly from karnataka kerala maharashtra and tamil nadu andhra pradesh telangana the study consist of 28.2% of male students and 71.8% of female students as per as the ug or pg program is concerned 68.2% of students belongs to ug program and the remaining 31.8 students belong to pg program now the question is asked with regard to the changes of lifestyle that they are undergoing 81.4% of them said yes that they are 
lifestyle has altered significantly now the next question regard to challenges in lifestyle of covid-19 pandemic outbreak some of the indicators have been asked in which areas their lifestyle is changed and the table shows the details as per the table they are very much worried about their economic future career avenues which is ahead of them and students are at the same time uh, are not sure about their financial support the dietary practices are altered they can't engage in social cultural activities including religious activities as their movement is restricted now according to this table this is the second table which shows the strategies adopted by them to overcome such lockdown situation so in this table we can understand that students are engaged in academic activities learned new skills cultivated hobbies new hobbies and at the same time they have assisted their family in its economic pursuits so besides one more interesting factor is that they hooked up on to the electronic gadgets to get engaged with the free time what they had during this lockdown now at the end uh, the recommendations goes like this the stakeholders of education needs to restructure the academic process reassure the students about their academic and career future the promotion of online classes the uh, the study suggests that at least uh, 30% of the curriculum can be promoted to co combat with such future situations uh again it requires augmentation in the basic infrastructure facilities the role of the government or the author concerning authorities is indispensable in this regard again a plan of curative measures uh, to end this particular present uncertainty is required and their vibrant future as they go out of this uh, education port portals must be ensured then uh, again uh, the study suggests that training the teachers to develop uh, the e content and execute online classes as during this lockdown they were uh, forced to do this so because of not having proper training uh, some of the teachers could not do this so this should be again uh, to be uh, the teachers to be trained and enhancing counseling skills and capacities which are required for supporting students Uh, with the needed guidance who are now much worried about their academic and uh, their future career in the conclusion we can say that india is uh, very much dominated by youth population this population must be reassured to be very productive in the future uh, in the best interest of them and uh, at the same time in the best interest of the future of the nation as well thank you Good morning myself Aisha Banu assistant professor government first grade college Thiruvekkere my paper title is post covid 19 challenges on e-commerce to begin with the covid 19 outbreak has created unprecedented challenges for sellers of all sizes around the world there are many businesses that have taken a hard hit as a result of these circumstances but some sectors of the economy like e-commerce have experienced a boom in sales during the pandemic consumers now more than ever would prefer shopping in a manner that is convenient safe and hygienic and the e-commerce space meets these requirements to facilitate e-commerce of goods in response to covid-19 several government around the world have encouraged online purchasing as an alternative to physical shopping for example in some south african countries a system has been developed whereby the customers can directly contact the retailers and get their groceries delivered by paying with mobile money and several telecommunication providers have made available data services for no cost or minimum cost and central bank have also permitted 
companies and banks to lower the transaction cost and fees on digital payments and money mobile money transfers in order to encourage the use of mobile money in preference to cash coming to the main topic of my paper that is covid-19 related challenges on e-commerce the first one is consumer protection there have been reports of fraudulent and deceptive practices with some online sellers offering fake or unsafe hand sanitizers surgical face mask or disinfectants for sale the next one is counterfeit expired and damaged products are circulated on e-commerce platform to meet the increased demand the next one is cyber fraud like phishing wishing attacks fake website mobile applications fake consumer uh, customer care leakage or misuse of personal consumer information is taking place the next one is unexpected stock fluctuations and consumer demand due to covid-19 lockdown and stay at home norm had made consumers for panic buying which has resulted in unexpected stock fluctuations and consumer demand the other kind of uh, challenges are sale and distribution fraud next one is the peak in website traffic etc to conclude the pandemic has made it clear that e-commerce can be an important tool or solution for consumers